Today, I want to tell you a story that perfectly encapsulates the spirit of the Chinese nation. Our story starts in the early 1930s, when fascism was brewing all around the world. It would take another 10 years before the Second World War would break in Europe. But in Asia, the evil plans of the Japanese militarists were well on their way. You see, Japan wanted to conquer all Asia to create an empire. By then, they had already annexed the Korean Peninsula, and now they were invading the northeastern region of China. Meanwhile, Shanghai, the Hollywood of the East, was living in a bubble. People were enjoying the good life, going to the cinema, dancing, drinking, and gambling. They were completely oblivious to what was going on. That all changed on January 28, 1932, when Japanese planes started bombing the city. A day that will forever live in infamy at the aerial bombing of a civilian population in history. The bubble had bursted. Frustrated by the inaction of the nationalists, young intellectuals, filmmakers and musicians joined the ranks of the Communist Party and decided to use their talents to inspire the people to join an army to fight against the Japanese. Some of these left-wing filmmakers opened a new film department inside the Denton Sound Equipment Company. With the new sound technology from the Denton company, they could incorporate music to the films and create a stronger reaction in the audience. A lyricist Tian Han was put in charge of writing the script for the movie Children of Troubled Times. The film tells the story of a young poet who flees during the Shanghai bombing to a life of luxury in Qingdao, only to be driving to fight the Japanese occupation of Manchuria after learning that his best friend had died. As he marches into battle alongside a village girl who has forsaken her dance troupe to become a fighter, the pair sing two stanzas of Tian Han's poem, The Great Wall. Soon after finishing his first draft, Tian Han was arrested. When the young musician Nia Er saw the lyrics, he felt as if his blood were boiling and immediately submitted a request to be the composer. Escaping from prosecution himself, he finished his composition in Japan. He attempted to embed all the power and indelible fighting spirit in his final draft, scrolling Marsha Vivace in the score sheet. The film premiered in 1935, and although it wasn't a huge box office success, the music record released by the discography EMI of the soundtrack was a hit. The main theme song, March of the Volunteers, went viral mostly with the help of the mass singing clubs organized by Liu Liangmo. Liu believed songs were the best instrument to mobilize the people. He said, many Chinese cannot read, so the songs carry resistance from mouse to mouse. Soon, Liu came under pressure from the nationalists and had to flee. He went to the United States and took with him the patriotic songs to continue his work of mobilizing people against the Japanese from there. Once in New York, he met Paul Robson, a singer and political activist fighting for the rights of black Americans and labor unions. By then, 
The Japanese aggression had turned into an outright war, covering half of China, Philippines, Malaysia, Laos, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, and many more. So Paul Robson decided to use his fame to call for American support. Just a few weeks after their meeting and in front of thousands of people at the West Harlem's Levison Stadium, Robeson sang March of the Volunteers in perfect Mandarin. That will be the first of many, since he will later record the album Chilai, Songs of New China. The album became an enormous success, and Chilai was sung in all the battlefields against fascism around the world. For many years, the song became a symbol of unity against evil, the belief in victory, and the dream of a bright future. That's why, when after the war, Liu was summoned back to China by the new government of the Communist Party to attend the deliberation on what should be the national anthem for the new People's Republic of China, he already knew in his heart which song they should pick. I hope that next time you hear the Chinese national anthem, you'll remember how much it means. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Chinese national anthem.